Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS. Presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point. Starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Hey, I'm Gary at Bucks and Bulls Archery, 3272 Church Street, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Um, what's new, April 25th and 26th, we're having a 16-man uh, 16 16 man individual double elimination techno hunt tournament. We got a few people signed up already, so like we did it last year, it was a good time, especially when you get down towards the end to the last few people. It was really intense, people trying to win. We have uh, gift certificates and money coming back for first place, second, third. and. Uh, we do pay out down the line a little bit so everybody has a chance to win something. It's a great time, so come on in, sign up for the Techno Hunt Tournament, April 25, 26. Um, and another new thing, we have all the new mission crossbows in. Um, I'll tell you what, if you come in to shoot one, we'll teach you how to shoot it, we'll let you test fire it, we'll tell you about them. There's four different makes and models, a couple different packages you can put on them. Um, and this year, the DNR legalized crossbows for everybody in the state. So anybody can shoot a crossbow this year to deer hunt, turkey hunt, bear hunt. We're even planning on shooting carp with them. Um, you can hunt anything rabbits. And it's kind of a neat thing to shoot. If you ever shot one, come on in and try it. They're a lot of fun. I have one myself. I shoot it all the time. I enjoy it. It's like shooting a gun without a kick. It's pretty neat. They're, and they're fast, accurate. And these are made by Mission. They're probably our number one seller is a Mission crossbow. Uh, they're made right here in Wisconsin, Sparta, Wisconsin, and uh, lifetime warranty. Uh, I mean, come on in, shoot it, we'll tell you more about it, but take a look at this thing, it's pretty awesome. Okay, I got Landon here today from Amherst, he's 10 years old, and I'm gonna teach him how to shoot a crossbow, and we're gonna see if a 10 year old boy can um, cock a mission dagger crossbow. These crossbows are only 30 inches long, 19 inches wide, and the draw weight goes from 200 down to 125. So what we're going to do, is see where the rope goes on the back of the string here. And these hooks go underneath the string like this, not on top. And this orange thing always goes on the right side. And then you stick your foot right in here and you just pull it up like this. Until it's all the way up until it clicks. The hooks as hard as you can. Top down pull up. And that's you, I'm guessing it's the same thing like that. It's harder. There you go, no problem. <laughs> so, Landon, 10 years old, just cocked a 160 pound crossbow by hand. Okay, now, we always, here's our safety. See, it's on safe. It pushes forward to fire it. When we, when we put an arrow in, put the cock feather down in that groove. See that? Push it all the way back in here. See where the knock goes all the way back to the string. Okay. And then you have to make sure you always point in the safe direction. Never point it at anyone. And when you put your hand on the stock like this, keep your fingers below these rails. You don't want your fingers to fall like that. You want them down there. This hand goes here. Looks like you're done. Put it on fire when you're ready to shoot. Safety when you're not. And then in the scope, there's like four or five different crosshairs. Use the top one, the top X, and aim the tail weight circle. Okay? Grab it under here. Okay, well, can you see it? Okay, we gotta take the safety off first. Take this hand, take your safety off. Okay. I'll just aim and pull the trigger like you would with a gun. Good job.
Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new Dagger Mission Crossbow. It's only 30 inches long, 6.3 pounds. The draw weights are adjustable all the way down to 125 pounds and children and uh, ladies can cock a 125 pound crossbow because they use your whole body and you put your foot on there to, to brace it. And I'm tell for a, like a, they let 10 year old kids bow hunt now, but you have to be able to draw 30 pounds to bow hunt and half of them can't do it, most of them can't do it. Something like this would get your kid out in the woods bow hunting at 10 years old. You'd have to do a little mentor program with them. We can teach them how to shoot it, how to cock it, the safety part of it. Or if you're out west or if you have a long walk to your tree stand, this would be a nice crossbow because, I mean, it's really light. One of the accessories that come or you can buy for this thing is a sling so you can throw it over your back. You hardly know it's there. But like I say, get your kids out in the woods. Bring them in, let them shoot this thing a couple times and see what you think about them. They're very versatile. Looking for a fun, state-of-the-art facility to shoot your bow this winter? Blackhawk Archers in Polonia, Wisconsin wants you to join their club. Located just 15 minutes east of Stevens Point on County Road Z, Blackhawk Archers has a heated indoor range for both 3D and spot target shooters. Leagues will be forming soon, and they also will have open shoots for the public this winter. Check out blackhawkarchers.net to stay up to date and for more information. Or stop into Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point for membership forms. We'll see you there. Big or small, Dave's Body Shop does it all. If you want professional quality body and repair work, Dave is definitely your guy. All insurance work is welcome. Hi, I'm Dave from Dave's Body Shop in Stevens Point. The guys down in Olin's got this ambulance and they wanted it fixed. They went to a couple body shops and every body shop wanted an arm and a leg. The guy says, hey, I just want a price I can live with. So I gave him a price they could live with. So next time you need a job done right, head down to 825 Park Street in Stevens Point to Dave's Body Shop, a place that you're always welcome. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point or realdealmineral.com. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of your family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Harbor today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hanks. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jace Hintz here with you again. And uh, as I was talking about last week, we're gonna go over uh, walk back tuning again just because I had a couple requests and people asking me to explain it a little bit more in depth and uh, help understand it. Now that it's becoming outdoor season, you're gonna be shooting a lot more different distances. And it's definitely gonna be the most accurate way of tuning your bow. It's basically a hybrid way to tune your bow to get your sight and your rest in line way better than you can actually do on a piece of paper if you're going to paper tune your bow or um, any other tuning type technology that you have tried this is going to be one that's definitely going to help you in the long run just because now when you're moving your sight and you're shooting different distances you're not going to be shooting left or right when you move your sight you're going to be still shooting perfectly straight and it's going to line everything up for you so uh, here's my setup as you can see i got just a piece of cardboard to make it a plain back wall and then i have a piece of string hanging without touching anything straight down i got a little well i got allen wrenches tied to the bottom just so it's got weight holding it straight you know letting gravity do what it's got to do to make it perfectly straight so uh, what i'm going to do first is i'm going to go back to 20 yards I'm going to sight in my bow. I'm going to shoot it until I get really close or I touch that string. As soon as I get my left and right at 20 yards, I'm always only going to use one arrow because if you use two arrows, there's obviously going to be a variance or a chance of there being a difference between the two arrows. So always just use one arrow to make your good shot. Go and get your arrow, sight in, left and right is all I'm doing. I'm not worried about my ups and downs at all. 
because it doesn't matter in walk back tuning at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot 20 yards. I'm gonna get sighted in with this string left and right. Once I'm good at that, I'm gonna go back to 30 yards and I'm gonna be not moving anything. Not gonna move my sight up or down. I'm just gonna leave it right where I have it. And I, you know, if I have to adjust, I'll aim a little bit higher just so I can you know, make sure I'm still aiming at the string that's hanging here. And as soon as you have it set up, basically your left and rights, I'll shoot at 20, boom, right on. Once I go back to 30, I'm gonna be shooting, and if I'm hitting right or left, what you're doing is you're gonna end up moving your rest. I'll show you how this is all gonna work out in the long run, but once you move your rest, you're gonna come back up to 20 yards, you're gonna recite in your left and rights, and then you're gonna go back to 30 again and shoot it again, and see if you're closer or how close you are until you get it exact at 20 and 30 yards without moving your sight at all. Your ups and downs obviously are gonna vary. Don't worry about that, don't move your sight, only shoot one arrow is the key. So let's go and shoot a little bit and let's uh, get it all tuned in for me. All right, so that was my first shot at 20 yards. And as you can see, I obviously hit to the right. So what I'm gonna do now is just move my sight to start. I'm just sighting in at 20 yards. So I'm just gonna move my sight over a couple clicks. And now I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna make the exact same shot and see where it hits until I get sighted in right on the string at the first initial distance. You can do this at 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, whatever, but wherever you're confident that you're gonna still be able to shoot consistently. So I wanna do 20 and basically 27 yards in here. Um, if you're in your basement or your backyard, you can do 10 yards to 20 yards, you know, start small and don't try starting, you know, shooting 50 yards and 70 yards because that's not easy for anybody and the wind can make a difference. There's a lot of different variables that'll make a difference in that aspect of shooting. So pull this out. I'm going to go take one more shot at 20 yards and hopefully I'll be sighted in. So that was my second shot at 20 yards. You saw me move my sight and everything. And my first one was about two inches to the right. And now my last one here is actually touching the string on the left side. That's perfect, that's good enough. I don't need to get any closer. Just because of the fact, I mean, that's, you're not gonna shoot the string every single time. There's gonna be a little bit of variance naturally. So I'm gonna take that arrow. Now I'm gonna basically call that center. And you know, especially if I'm on the left side on my next shot and I'm touching the string like it literally is right now, then I know it's perfect. So I'm gonna take a step back now. I'm gonna go back to about 27 yards in here and I'm not gonna move my sight at all. Not moving it up or down, not moving it left or right. I'm gonna leave it exactly where it is. Cause right now I'm hitting right where I'm aiming. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna you know, aim a little bit higher. And I know I'm gonna hit down here just because of the distance difference. But I know that I'm still gonna just be worrying about my left and right on that string. So I'm gonna take a step back, take another shot and I'm hopefully gonna be in the exact same spot. If I'm not, that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. And instead of moving your sight at that distance, you're gonna move your rest. Once you move your rest one time, you're gonna be moving back up to the line and you're gonna be shooting again at 20 yards to recite in, and then you're gonna again go back to the farther distance and you're gonna shoot it over again. This isn't an extremely short process, but it's something that's definitely gonna help you out. I mean, absolutely ridiculous amounts for making your bow perfectly sighted in for yourself, perfectly tuned up and shooting the right, you know, left and right at every single distance that you shoot at. So let's step back now, take another shot, see where I'm hitting, and then we can move my rest from there. All right, now I shot my uh, farther arrow, and as you can see, I am a little bit farther to the left than I'd like to be. I'm about a inch off, basically, which now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my rest. And you can see, if you think about it, I shot my first one right on, my next one to the left when I went farther back. So what's happening is my arrow is gradually going to the left the farther I go. I guarantee if I take another shot right now at 10 yards, I'm actually gonna be shooting to the right because I'm sighted in for 20 yards and I'm, my arrow is sliding out the whole time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my rest and I'm def, like right now I'm shooting to the left. So I'm gonna move my rest in actually about, I mean, an extremely small amount. I'm talking like a 16th of an inch, maybe an eighth if it was a little bit more, but with this, I mean, it's literally, you know, almost touching shafts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it in about a 16th of an inch. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another shot at 20 yards, so I'm sighted in. Then I'm gonna back up to the farther distance. I'm gonna take another shot to see where I'm at. This is where you gotta, you know, keep track of where you're moving your rest so that you can actually make sure um, that you're not over adjusting it. And basically after your second time, if you keep track of how much you move it, you should be able to get right on. So what I'm gonna do is again, shoot 20 yards. Now that I'm gonna move my rest first, I'm gonna shoot 20 yards, recite in my bow. So I mean, obviously I'm moving my sight in, so I'm gonna move my sight out right away so I know that I can make, you know, 
make the adjustment for it. So I'm, I'm gonna be pretty close, hopefully. And then uh, take my shot, sight in again, back up to the farther distance, see where I'm at. All right, so I went and moved my rest, reset it in, I, took, so I moved my sight ahead of time just to make sure that I'd be close enough. And I shot at 20 yards now. I'm just a hair on the right side of the string, which I know exactly where I am. So I'm gonna back up now. I'm gonna shoot the farther distance and hopefully I'm gonna be in the same spot left and right wise as my arrow right now, just because of my little adjustment on my rest. And again, by doing this, any distance I can shoot at once I get this exactly tuned in my rest, it'll be definitely right on left and right. So, so as long as I have a good sight tape or a good sight um, markers on my sight, I'll be able to shoot any distance I want to left and right will be perfect. So I'm gonna step back, shoot the farther distance, and hopefully I'll be a lot closer than last time. All right, as you can see, my arrow's again to the right of the string, just like my last arrow, and it's a lot closer than it was last time. Right now we're talking a variance of 16th to eighth of an inch, basically, left and right, which is basically as good as I'm gonna get this one set up right now. If I'm shooting one of my target bows, I'd have it exactly perfect. But this is just a hunting bow that I'm, you know, setting up right now. I mean, it's a nice monster chill that I got from them, and great bow, awesome and everything, but that's about as accurate as I'm assuming with this bow because again, it's just a hunting sight and everything on it and we're shooting 30 yards. So I'll take the difference here and I think that's really good. Um, I got it about, like I said, eighth to a 16th for when I started, it was about an inch to an inch and a quarter. So it's definitely a lot closer and this is the kind of thing that right now, I'm confident I can shoot in distance and it'll be right on left and right wise. So do this with your bow for even just hunting, just get it bare kind of like I did right now or if you're doing target, you don't get extremely anal with it. Make sure you're shooting with no wind variance, no light variance, make sure that it's gonna be consistently shooting. And again, one arrow, don't be mixing up arrows at all because if you're mixing up arrows, you're again, just gonna be hurting yourself because you can have one that's fleshed a little bit differently, one that weighs, you know, four grains more, and it's all gonna make a little tiny difference. One that's not, doesn't have the spine turned the correct way. There's a lot of different things where if you're not shooting one arrow to get the one arrow perfect, then you're gonna be in trouble and you're gonna be struggling and you're gonna be fighting this. Um, it's a little bit complicated situation, but if you want any questions or anything, don't be afraid to check us out on YouTube, check us out on Facebook. We have all these lessons you know, recorded on there where you can see what we're talking about or go back and go over it again. Maybe you missed something or you know, if you have any questions, call in. I mean, I can help you out or my dad can help you out. Definitely gonna help you uh, here at Bucks and Bulls. So um, stop in and we'll be more than happy to you know, help you with any questions you got. And it's definitely something I recommend doing, especially now that it's outdoor season. A lot of people like to start shooting longer distances and this is gonna definitely save arrows and make it a lot easier, have a lot more fun shooting when you shoot you know, consistently. So again, any questions, feel free to call. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. All right, now it's time for one of our more exciting segments here on Weekly Outdoor Plus. It's where we get to keep our fans connected with the show. Don't forget, you can send in your pictures to weeklyoutdoorplus at live.com or link them up to us on Facebook to get in this segment of our show. Each week as Sopa Cellular makes it extremely easy for you to capture these photos and then send and share them around effortlessly. Our first picture this week is of the HHA crossbow scope that one of our happy customers sent to us after purchasing one recently. And here's Tim Kennedy with another Robin Hood at Bucks and Bulls Archery. This next one is a trail cam picture of a turkey eating some real deal mineral. And here's one from the Stankowski boys pumped for their out of state turkey hunt this spring. Next is a picture captured of a bald eagle flying over a snowy field this winter. And here's one of Jeff, all ready for the Wisconsin Turkey Opener. Next we have a couple of young archers shooting to win one of the new bikes at Bucks and Bulls Archery. And our last one this week comes from some of our good friends after a great day out shed hunting in the Dakotas. So stop on down to Sopa Cellular today and check out all their great deals and stay tuned for more Weekly Outdoor Plus action. Hi, my name is Nate from Nate's Body Shop, 825 Park Street. Gary Hintz is a friend of mine. 
and I'd like to help them out donate two bicycles, two little bikes, two bigger bikes, and Gary's going to fill you in how you can get them free of charge. Yeah, we're going to have a kids program at the shop. Dave's donated the bikes, so I'm going to donate to archery time. And uh, we're going to just have a program where they build up points and they have a chance to win a bike. Stop in at Dave's Body Shops or Bucks and Bowls to see how you can win these bikes free. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of your family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Looking for a fun, state-of-the-art facility to shoot your bow this winter? Blackhawk Archers in Polonia, Wisconsin wants you to join their club. Located just 15 minutes east of Stevens Point on County Road Z, Blackhawk Archers has a heated indoor range for both 3D and spot target shooters. Leagues will be forming soon, and they also will have open shoots for the public this winter. Check out blackhawkarchers.net to stay up to date and for more information. Or stop into Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point for membership forms. We'll see you there. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I saw bucks on camera I never knew I had. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Big or small, Dave's Body Shop does it all. If you want professional quality body and repair work, Dave is definitely your guy. All insurance work is welcome. Hi, I'm Dave from Dave's Body Shop in Stevens Point. The guys down in Allen's got this ambulance and they wanted it fixed. They went to a couple body shops and every body shop wanted an arm and a leg. The guy says, hey, I just want a price I can live with. So I gave him a price they could live with. So next time you need a job done right, head down to 825 Park Street in Stevens Point to Dave's Body Shop, a place that you're always welcome. All right, everybody, we are looking at the mission crossbows this week. Um, I wanted to go over one cool aspect of them, something that a lot of other crossbows don't do here that we have. Um, we've all been there before. We're out in the woods um, on our hunt, back in a ways from the houses, from wherever, and something happens to your setup. And it could be as simple as you, you nick the string with your broadhead, um, something comes undone, who knows what it is, um, but it's nice to be able to fix that out there and get back to your hunt. I mean, sometimes you're out west and you just, you got nowhere to go and you want to get back hunting. So the cool thing about these crossbows, if anything like that happens, I'm going to show you how you can fix the string on it and replace it right out in the field. No bow press needed, you just, all you need is an Allen wrench. So strings are fairly inexpensive for it also. So once you, you got your Allen wrench, you, you find the right size. So the easy thing about this bow is, unlike a normal compound bow, there's no D-loop, there's nothing on the string except for the string itself. You just, once you can get the string off, you just put the new one on and it, it's back ready to go. Uh, the way these bows work, they're, their limb bolts are kind of similar to a compound bow where they can be turned out, um, which decreases the weight. But the difference in these, they can be turned out so far that it takes all of the weight off of the limbs and that string will just come off by hand. Uh, the way you start, you're going to take the, the first side out and you're going to turn it out seven full turns. OK, 
Okay, so we have that side out seven turns now. Now you flip around to the other side. You can already see it's starting to get a little looser. Flip it around to the other side and you are gonna do 14 turns on this side. There's 14 right there. Now you flip it back to the original side and you're gonna take seven more turns out of it so both sides are equal. And now there's no weight on this string whatsoever. So from there I can, as you can see, peel the string right off the cam no bow press at all there. So there you go, you got the string off. Um, from there, obviously you would have to be carrying another new string if this one was wrecked. You'd grab that new string and it would go back just the way you had it. Put it onto the loops. You just feed it right in the little channels. like that and then your weight just goes back up from there so you wrench back in seven turns on that side make sure everything looks good flip it around and we're going to do 14 on this side And you'll feel it get tight there. And then you're going to go back to the other side and you're going to tighten this one also. All right. So there you have it we have a new string on there again. So now we can go hunting, um, everything is fixed. Simple as that. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week.